Dear viewers, I hope you are all fine. This ultrasound video shows a case of enlarged mesenteric lymph nodes with intestinal perforation. Bowel perforation is an acute surgical emergency where there is a release of gastric or intestinal contents into the peritoneal space. You can see the liver, gallbladder and free fluid along the hilum of the liver. A perforated bowel happens when a medical condition such as diverticulitis causes a hole or tear in the bowel. An injury or blockage may also per perforate the bowel. Bowel contents can leak into the abdomen through this hole. This may cause a life-threatening infection. Now you can see a large amount of free fluid seen in the upper abdomen, in the middle portion of the upper abdomen. Now the primary symptoms of gastrointestinal perforation are severe abdominal pain and tenderness. The abdomen may also protrude or feel hard to touch. If the hole is in a person's stomach or small intestine, the onset of pain is usually sudden. But if the hole is in the large intestine, the pain may come, come on gradually. Now you can see the fluid in the Morrison space, also called hepatorenal recess. This is the free fluid seen in the Morrison space. Symptoms of inflammatory bowel diseases, disease are abdominal cramps and pain, diarrhea, that may be bloody, severe urgency to have a bowel movement, fever, weight loss, loss of appetite, iron deficiency anemia due to blood loss. If this perforation is, uh, if the perforation is suspected, then an erect chest X-ray should be performed, as well as abdominal X-ray. This image shows a very large volume of gas under the diaphragm due to bowel perforation. Now again you can see the fluid is thick and turbid having multiple internal opacities, multiple internal echoes. Now again you can see the fluid, this is the spleen, this is and the left kidney. Signs of bowel perforation are abdominal pain, often severe and diffuse, severe abdominal cramping, bloating, Nausea and vomiting, a change in the bowel movements, habits, rectal bleeding, fever. Usually, this is not immediately seen. Chills. Now you can see the enlarged lymph nodes, and this. Mesenteric lymph node measures about 3.6 cm into 1.8 cm, quite a large lymph node. Possible complications of gastrointestinal perforation include internal bleeding and sepsis. Gastrointestinal perforation can also lead to abdominal abscesses or permanent bowel damage. It may even 
cause part of bowel to die. The abdomen may stick outwards further than normal and feel hard. In addition to general symptoms of perforation, symptoms of per peritonitis may include fatigue, passing less urine, stool or gas. Surgery is usually performed to repair a gastrointestinal perforation, particularly if it is in the bowel. Rarely, it may be preferred to take a wait and see approach to see if the hole will repair itself. The colostomy or ileostomy may be temporary, allowing the rest of the intestine to heal. Now you can see the gut area then and you can see there is no gastrointestinal movements no intestinal movements are seen Now the examination is conducted, being conducted with the high power linear probe and you can see a large amount of free fluid seen inside the left side of the upper abdomen. In large abdominal lymph nodes are frequently encountered in, in asymptomatic children and should not always be considered abnormal. In large abdominal lymph nodes exceeding 10 mm in their shortest axis in children with abdominal pain may represent mesenteric lymphadenitis of various causes. Again you can see the the semen intestine having a free fluid inside in between and the large lymph nodes are also seen these are the lymph nodes sonograph on normal sonograph of normal mesenteric lymph nodes shows that they are ovoid with a prominent fatty hilum and a short excess diameter less than 5 mm 5 mm, a thickened ileum and cecum and a normal appendix are depicted adjacent to the enlarged lymph nodes in, in the patient with mesenteric lymphadenitis and terminal ileocolitis. This is a possibility, not it is always it happens so. These are the enlarged lymph nodes and this lymph node measures about 2.9 centimeter into 1.3 centimeter a normal young adult body contains up to 450 lymph nodes of which about 60 to 70 are found in the head and neck 100 in the thorax and as many as 250 in the abdomen and pelvis Mesenteric lymph adenitis is an inflammation of lymph nodes. The mesenteric lymph nodes which become inflamed are in a membrane that attaches the intestine to the abdominal wall and it is called mesentery. There are hundreds of lymph nodes that help the body to fight against disease. They trap and destroy microscopic invaders like viruses or bacteria. You can find some important information in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe my channel. If you do like this video, please click the like button. Thanks.